this is Dr. Janet Bruno, and today I'd like to share with you a tribute to Dr. Caldwell Esselstein. Now, Dr. Caldwell Esselstein is a name that is well known within the heart disease reversal world. This may not be familiar with you, so let me introduce him. He's actually a doctor whose non-medical achievements are nearly as remarkable as his medical ones. While he was a young student at Yale University, Dr. Esselstein actually rode for the U.S. Olympic crew team in the 1956 Olympics and they won the gold medal. He's actually someone who, through his whole life, has been committed to discipline and excellence in both his personal and professional life. Now his medical background is equally impressive. Since 1968, he's been working as a surgeon, researcher, and clinician at the Cleveland Clinic. And Cleveland Clinic is a place considered one of the very top destinations for cardiac care. Now, when he was going into his 11th year as a surgeon, Dr. Esselstein felt the growing discontent, actually, with the current paradigm of the U.S. healthcare system. He developed lots and lots of research, and his analysis of the worldwide distribution of heart disease actually showed that the majority of the world had no problem with heart disease. He realized that the problem had something to do with what Americans were doing, because heart disease was a very real problem in America. And so he really felt that the key to good cardiac health was not necessarily a cure, but prevention. Seeing that the majority of the world did not even have heart disease, it became very important to him to figure out what it is Americans are doing that's causing this heart disease. So with this in mind, he began a study in 1985 where his initial goal was to attempt to reduce the blood cholesterol levels of his patients to under 150 milligrams using mostly dietary means. Now he chose this as his goal from a lot of research that was pointing towards the fact that this probably was very protective for heart disease, but he wanted to find out if that was true. So it was, it's important to note that his patients that he included in the study were actually 23 people who had very unhealthy hearts. It was a long-term study, and actually after the first two years, there were five patients who were not quite able to go along with the program and they dropped out. So Dr. Esselstein was left with 18 patients who, like I mentioned, had very unhealthy hearts. And just to explain what I mean by that, in the prior eight years to the beginning of the study, these 18 people had suffered 49 coronary events among themselves. So a coronary event is like an angioplasty, a heart attack, having angina or chest pain, something along that is considered a coronary event. So basically, these 18 people were quite sick. So what happened in the, in the study? Well, several years into the program, these 18 patients began to show remarkable improvement. For example, their baseline cholesterol at the start of the study was an average of 246 milligrams. Now this dramatically dropped to an average of 132 milligram which was actually significantly lower than Dr. Esselstein's target of 150. And furthermore, in the span of the 11 years from the start of the study, these 18 patients who began in very poor cardiac health, in, in a whole 11 years, there was only one coronary event. Now I want you to understand the significance of that. In the prior eight years to before the study started, there were 49 events. From the moment the study started all the way for 11 years, there was only one event. And now this one coronary event I have to share was actually a patient who was involved in the program, but he actually went off the recommended diet for a period of two years. And that was the only person who had a coronary event. So this is very significant. Like I said, these were sick people. So aside from this remarkable improvement in cholesterol and also in the cardiac incidence, Dr. Esselstein actually discovered an even more amazing change in his patients. 
Over the course of evaluating the present state of health of the patients in his program, Dr. Esselstyn saw that 70% of his patients underwent an increase in the opening of the previously blocked arteries. So in layman terms, basically there is an imaging study where you can actually see the vessel. And this is something that's done many times to evaluate if a, a bypass has to be done or not. And what he found was that these previously very sick people actually had arteries that were quite clogged in certain areas. And what he found was that these arteries that were clogged actually reduced the blockage. So by an average of about 7%. 7% doesn't sound like a big number, but actually what that translates, because you're talking about a, a vessel with pressure and volume, what that translates actually is a 30% greater blood flow that can go through it, which is quite substantial. If there's a blockage and your heart's on the other side needing to get the oxygen in the blood, and there's a significant reduction in the blockage so that more and more blood can go through, that's a very healthy condition to be in. And Dr. Esselstyn found that exact scenario in 70% of his patients in the study. They actually opened up the arteries, so to speak, because the blockage got smaller and smaller. And this was huge. So the decrease in the blockage was celebrated by Dr. Esselstyn and his colleagues because what this really showed was heart disease can be reversed. And this was just a, an amazing finding, and this is actually precisely why Dr. Esselstyn is highly respected and well regarded among those who are involved in treating cardiovascular disease. In fact, the amazing success of these 18 patients was drew some attention, and one particular patient who was a physician himself, who had very significant heart disease, was drawn to Dr. Esselstyn. And this patient adopted Dr. Esselstyn's recommended diet for 32 months, okay? After this period of time, his previously blocked arteries, which again were shown by the imaging study, were wide open and basically identical to healthy arteries. So truly, his heart disease was reversed. And at the end of these 32 months, his total cholesterol was an astonishing 89, which is quite low. And this doctor who 44 years old when this was completed, he basically experienced a massive reversal of heart disease using purely nutrition alone. Now this is very exciting for, for certainly for me, for many physicians in the industry, and I hope this should be exciting for you too. Now Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn has published a book that tells much more about this, and it's called Prevent Preventing and Reversing Heart Disease, and it was based on the techniques he used in his 20-year study. Now, to this day, Dr. Esselstyn is a widely respected physician, and he's actually collaborated with another giant in the field of nutrition, and that is Dr. Colin Campbell, who is someone else I've talked about before. You may or may not have heard that name. He's the author of the China study. Well, these two physicians, uh, Dr. Colin Campbell, PhD, and Dr. Esselstyn, an MD, actually got together to work on a new movie, and it's entitled Fork Over Knives. This movie is going to debut March 11th in 2011, and it's pretty exciting for those of us in the industry. You can see some trailers. Basically, this movie, Forks Over Knives, is, looks closely at the theory that practically all degenerative diseases, chronic diseases, can either be controlled or reversed by merely rejecting the current American diet, which focuses heavily on animal-based and processed foods. So this is an exciting movie, Forks Over Knives. If you want to look, at, look into it, it's a wonderful movie to see. So this tribute today, Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn has done an amazing contribution to the field, and I hope you found this interesting and stimulating. This is Dr. Janet Bruno wishing you a healthy and a happy day.